Just when you thought the Oscars couldn't get any more degenerate, we get John Cena who somehow thinks we can't see him. You can't see me. So the Oscars happened a few hours ago and let's talk about it. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode of a Nigerian Take with Theo and please like and share this video. A uh, slight correction, we're actually not talking about the Oscars per se, just this one incident. I'm not gonna lie, I do have immense respect for the Academy, what they've been able to build, the technical filmmaking standards Hollywood has set for us all, but I honestly lost a lot of interest once they started awarding degeneracy in movies and very obviously pushing certain agendas. And on the topic of degeneracy, we seem to have hit a new high. Take a look. Costumes. Oh lord. Oh. I didn't think it could get much worse than the Will Smith slap incident, but I suppose the West does know how to outdo itself. To be fair, Will Smith acted on his own accord and the Academy didn't have much time to take his name off the Oscar. You know, something to send the message that we, as an award, don't condone violent conduct right on our stage. <laughs> but it seems in this case the Academy wanted to outdo Will Smith because respectfully, what in the actual flying f hula hooping f us f is this? This is a planned skit. They signed off on this and not one person involved in this process could mention that it's probably Probably a bad idea to have one of your hosts call out nominations for unironically best costume, but what? naked? <sighs> I know this was meant to be a joke about the infamous 1974 streaker moment. The award for the best picture is never lightly given. And now to divulge the contents of this year's most important envelope, is a very important contributor to world entertainment and someone quite likely <laughs> but can we please bring back shame because this is supposed to be the biggest award ceremony in the world of cinema it's supposed to be taken seriously with the actors and the people doing great bts work being the main focus of the event for example, moments like Ryan Gosling performing his mega hit I'm Just Ken or Oppenheimer winning Best Picture. Not some naked dude showing us parts of him we did not consent to. I know the 1974 streaker incident was hilarious, but it was some random guy and again, not planned. Or was it? Anyway. It was pretty random. John Cena, on the other hand, being allowed to do that when presenting an award is just downright disturbing. And I was glad to see that the internet is just as weirded out as I am. Somebody said, what is John Cena doing to himself? After last night, I will never support another Hollywood film again. At John Cena, to let yourself be degraded, it's worse than Will Smith losing his cool. Hollywood is a woke at Disney disaster. This one says the impact of such display on children who idolize John Cena cannot be understated. By presenting himself in such a way, he is inadvertently promoting the idea that it is okay to abandon one's values and beliefs for the sake of money or acceptance. Dude be working overtime for a colorful Hollywood acting career. High possibility of being trans in the next few years. I, this is how it starts, really. He has a point. Society in decadency, soon no moral left. John Cena miscalculated on this one. A lot of people look up to him because he's the most popular WWE superstar and has a lot of fan base. I don't understand the motive for going full nude on stage, but it's an own goal for me. It's definitely an own goal for me too. With each passing day, I learned the difference between masculine man and muscular man. <laughs> That's a good one. While I was reading through all the tweets, I came across a video of the Tate brothers reacting to it. And though I won't be playing that here because I'd very much like for my video to not be buried <laughs> by the dumb algorithm which doesn't understand context. The funniest part of the video was Tristan drawing that naked guy chart while Top G spoke <laughs> and looking so serious about it. <laughs> 
I played it without sound and it was hilarious. Interestingly, they mentioned something called the humiliation ritual. And a lot of other tweets did so too. This somehow, somehow, was my first time hearing that phrase. So I googled it and it's apparently defined as when a record label, an organization in this case, forces or bribes their artists into doing things they wouldn't normally do to weaken and destruct the society slash audience they market to. Interesting. It reminded me immediately of this Cat Williams interview that went super viral back in January. Take a look. Or was it December? I think it was December. I can't remember. January, December, whatever. Take a look. Martin tried to put me in my first dress. You know we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house too. I almost died. It's BS like this cat was talking about even as long as seven years ago. And this is what it has come to. How can people be okay with a man as macho, ripped, built, toned as John Cena doing that? By constantly pushing nudist BS like this, they're trying to weaken morality and make people desensitized to all of this. I mean, we see it everywhere in movies, on Instagram, like, just the other day, I opened my IG and the first image I'm greeted with is one of Cardi B barely wearing any clothes. Again, a visual I did not consent to because I don't even follow her. Oh my God, what is that? Of course, we all know what happens next. The news excusing this crass behavior and acting as if it's all normal. P.S. I shot that last part of my video without first checking if there were any headlines defending or excusing him. And when I checked, well, the media didn't disappoint. Just look at these headlines. John Cena wasn't naked at the Oscars. He was wearing a Rolex grail. Yay! We should all jump for joy that the Rolex grail makes it all the better. Mm. Proof John Cena's naked Oscar night stunt wasn't what it seemed. Of course it wasn't. We all, we didn't all see a probably butt naked John Cena walk out and say, even if he wasn't naked, there, we saw enough. We saw his panty line. What's remaining? Like what's left? Answer me. This is just how predictable all of this is. I really do fear for the next generation because I doubt this will stop or go away. Just a few years ago, doing stuff like this on an award show stage would have been unacceptable. But here we are in 2024, burying our heads in the sands of degeneracy. This is degeneracy, clear as night and day, and it only stops when the world decides to take an unshakable stand against it. I'm all for a good joke, but I didn't find this one very funny. It was rather distasteful and eerily reflective of just how low society has fallen. However, I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about this whole situation? Am I taking it a bit too seriously, perhaps? Comment below and till next time, my name is Dio. Thank you for watching.